I was aiming to pursue medicine at college, or more like my parents wanted me to. But then I flopped all my med applications and was accepted into software engineering at McGill. Hey, but at least I got into pharmacy school. So in the end, I picked software engineering as my major, not knowing just how atrocious the market would get. Anyway, I pulled up my real transcript here, and um, a, a lot went down. I took my first programming course where I got obliterated. This class was well known for being pretty shit. It was later actually removed from the curriculum. I'm pretty sure I was in the last cohort to have taken this course. To my OG McGill students, just know you're not the only one who flopped the final. <laughs> the first half of the course was intro to Java. So we learned stuff like conditionals, loops, classes and objects, a lot of OOP, cause you know, OOP is important. And then if one language wasn't enough, in the second half of the class, we learned C. But I don't really remember much from this part. I also took intro to the engineering profession, which was basically an ethics class, where we went over stuff like the trolley problem, various ethical theories, and some interesting case studies of famous engineers. I also took a communications class, a circus class, because I had no choice, and two math courses. This term was my redemption arc. I was dead set on getting straight A's, so I was either just studying or chilling with friends. I had this absurdly long, like, 8 hour break on Wednesdays, so I just stay on campus the entire day. Comp 250 is basically premium ECSE 202. They cover the same material, but it was taught so much better. I ended up TAing for this class, actually and making $33 an hour. Comp 206 was a super useful class. I learned how to use the command line, bash scripting, and a little bit of C. It was taught by two professors who are kind of like polar opposites. The first professor spoke so fast that I could barely 1.5x his lecture recordings, while the other prof, I could 5x him easy. Discrete Maths, Math 240. This class has a pretty low average, mainly because we learn math that most students aren't really familiar with. I low-key enjoyed it, but it was thanks to the professor. Shout out Professor Love, if you're watching this, you're the GOAT. ECSE 222. Super cool class taught by another goaded prof. I learned stuff like Boolean algebra, logic gates, flip-flops, and how computing can be reduced to super simple building blocks. Sadly, the prof doesn't teach at McGill anymore. ECSE 223. In this class, I built a Java application. We were a team of six. One dude completely ghosted our team. We used Java effects for the UI. Never heard of it? Don't worry, you're not missing out. It's trash. Anyways, the end result was actually pretty satisfying. Although you know the ghost teammate I mentioned? I haven't seen him to this day. Maybe he doesn't actually exist. I sadly didn't grind enough for an internship this summer, so I ended up taking a math course instead, which is like the next best thing, right? You know, honestly, I remember really enjoying this class. The class was a month, and I spent the remainder of my summer working on a ship in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Coming back from the trenches in Halifax, I was determined to find an internship my second year. I joined the team that organizes McHacks, which is my school's biggest hackathon, and I started TAing for Intro to CS. For my classes, it was a difficult but rewarding semester. In ECSE 211, aka, you better hope you get a good team, otherwise you're We designed and built a robot that can draw anything in a 5x5 grid. Oh my god! It was a cool class, but it was horribly taught. ECSE 321, most useful course of my degree. We built a museum web app with Java, Spring Boot, and Postgres for the backend, and React for the frontend. Slapped that shit on my resume and applied for jobs. I took my data structures and algorithms course, as well as a course on functional programming in OCaml. We had weekly OCaml assignments that got progressively more difficult. But hey. Stay hard! Alright, this term, I was going crazy with job applications. I was spraying and praying them for the summer. After nearly 200 of them, I got two interviews. But my friend had already signed an offer somewhere else, and he gave me his place for an interview. So really, my success rate was 1 out of 200. That's a 0.5% success rate. Yeah, anyways, I took five courses this term. ECSC 324. The material was extremely interesting and was taught by another goaded professor. We learn about the different structures that make up a computer, like the processor, RAM, and the disk. We also learn how to write ARM assembly and implemented the game of life. 205. 
This is our basic probability and statistics course. Although it was mainly like, it was like 80% probability and 20% statistics. And the prof is known to be kind of, well, you get the idea. I also took linear algebra and two other ECSC courses. My first internship experience was fully remote and the work itself was nothing spectacular. I was basically just migrating apps from Java 8 to Java 17. Also, I had to cut the internship short from 16 weeks to 12 weeks because I had to go on exchange. I went to the National University of Singapore on exchange this semester and I had the time of my life. I found three courses that fit in my schedule and for which I could get transfer credits. I only had class on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. This means that I traveled a lot. I went to Indonesia, Hong Kong, Thailand twice and Malaysia more times than I can count. At the end of the semester, I went to Korea and then Switzerland and then finally back home in Canada to start my next semester. I took operating systems this semester, which was actually really cool. I remember the professor tried gamifying certain aspects of the course. He made a virtual world where students could earn coins and buy things like a hint for the assignments hidden tests. I spent many hours with my friend debugging C in our assignments and the material was pretty interesting. I took a couple of other classes like thermodynamics of computing, engineering economy, and a religion elective. This summer felt even worse than last year. I had no success even with one internship under my belt. Thank God my friend came in clutch and referred me to a company called Coveo and got me an interview. I mostly worked on the documentation website doing Ruby scripting and some frontend in React. For the fall, I ended up extending my internship at Coveo but in a different team. I switched from the documentation team to a DevOps role. I had an enormous amount of knowledge holes, but I learned a lot and ended up doing some pretty cool cloud infrastructure and observability tasks. At the same time, I was taking two pretty easy courses, Intro to Statistical Computing, which was basically an intro to R, and a widely known bird course at McGill called The Art of Listening. I got a B because my dumbass completely forgot to do the second midterm and it was worth 20% of my grade. I also dropped out of engineering this term, which turned a few heads like my faculty advisor, but I thought it was a pretty smart move. With my fall internship, and I guess the stars finally aligning, I was landing a lot more interviews than past semesters. Ultimately, I landed an offer at Shopify for the winter, and it was an amazing experience, 10 out of 10. I learned a lot, and I even visited their offices in Toronto and Ottawa. While working, I took two courses, databases and a religion elective. Databases was a goaded class, it was super useful. I learned about relational databases, SQL, buffer management, indexing, and a lot more. I didn't do enough practice questions to prepare for my exams though. This summer, I'm interning at Autodesk, and I'm doing more DevOps and infrastructure work. I have one more semester left in the fall, and then after that, I can officially call myself an engineer. Just kidding, I can't do that in Quebec. <laughs>